In this video, I'm going to show you how to use different numbering styles in different parts of your document. And in order to do this, you must have split your document into different sections. If you do not know how to split your document into different sections, I would recommend that you go back to the previous video where I show you how to make use of page breaks and section breaks. In that video, I would have shown you how to see section and page breaks in your document. And you can do so by enabling the pull crow or the paragraph mark. So here you can see that I've included a section break on page four of my document. So my document now has two sections. The first section ends on page four and the next section starts on page five. If I wanted to use different numbering systems for the two sections, I could do that using the section break. So let's say I want to use Roman numerals for the first section of my document, and I want to use Arabic numerals for the second section of my document. I can do that when I've got a section break within my document. To do this, I'm going to make sure that my cursor is within the first section of my document, anywhere within the first section of my document. And then I'm going to go to insert, page number, and then format page numbers. The reason why I'm going straight to format page numbers is because I've already numbered my pages, but now I want to change the format in the first section of my document. And within the first section, I wanna use Roman numerals, and then I'm gonna click OK. So here you will see that my first section has Roman numerals all the way to page four, and I have not included a page number on the first page of my document, because that's how I had initially formatted my page numbers. If I now go to the second section of my document, which starts on page five, you'll see that there's no page number and then it jumps to page two. So the reason why this is happening is because when I initially formatted my page numbers, I told Word not to include a page number on page one. And now it's using the same formatting for the second section within my document. But I want my second section within my document to start on page one, and I want the number to show on this page. So I'm going to make sure my cursor is somewhere within the second section of my document, and then I'm going to go back to page number. The first thing I'm going to do here is tell Word that I wanted to show the number on the first page. That means number one is going to reflect on the first page of the second section and then I can do additional formatting if I want to. The first thing you can do here is to choose continue from previous section. If I choose continue from previous section, it means that this new section, section two, is going to start on page five because this is technically the fifth page within my document. But then number five is going to be in Arabic numerals rather than Roman numerals because this section is formatted using Arabic numerals. If I don't want to continue from page five, I want to restart at page one. I need to say start at and then whatever number you wanted to start at. I want my second section to start on page one. So I'm going to click OK. So now you can see that my first section does not have the number on the first page and it's got Roman numerals all the way to page four. And then my second section starts on page one and continues as per normal using Arabic numerals. What's very important to remember once you've changed the formatting of your numbering and when you've moved around stuff in your document is to update the table of contents. It doesn't happen automatically. And to do so, you can right click on your table of contents and say update field. Then Word is going to ask you whether you only want to update the page numbers or whether you want to update the entire table. To be safe, I usually choose update the entire table. That means Word is going to take on any new changes to headings I might have made, but it'll also then update the page numbers. Although I didn't change any of my heading titles, I still, to be safe, choose update the entire table. If I then click OK, you'll see that heading one is now on page one. If I, for instance, update heading one and I call it introduction instead, then this will show up when I go and I update the table of contents. So there you can see it now reflects introduction. 